About five years ago, a young Kenyan boy was thrown face first into a fire. That boy was brought to Spokane last March. We first introduced you to Kevin Wafulo when he arrived and was preparing for a series of reconstructive surgeries at Shriners Hospital. Now, seven months later, the surgeries are done and he's getting ready to return to Kenya. This morning, KXLY4 Sally Showman visited Kevin at Liberty Elementary in Spangle where he's been attending school. The 23 kids inside Kevin's third grade class here at Liberty Elementary have welcomed him without hesitation and Kevin's jumped right into the mix. Kevin's changed a lot over the course of the last seven months, but he's also changed just about everyone he's come into contact with. So they were anxious to see this new new boy come into the classroom. There are lessons learned every day inside Mrs. Nyhart's third grade class. Oh, but the greatest lesson so far this year comes from the new kid in class, Kevin Wafula. He's no different than the rest of them. Although he fits right in, Kevin's life is nothing like his classmates. He doesn't have parents. They abandoned him on the streets of Kenya. He doesn't even know his birthday. Based on tooth growth patterns, a dentist says he's probably somewhere between 9 and 10. And those scars on his face and his hand are permanent reminders of the day he was thrown headfirst into a burning fire. He has shown these kids that you can overcome all kinds of terrible things that might happen to you in your life and be happy. He's always got a smile on his face. And if you think your little owie is something terrible, they might think about that. At recess, Kevin's the star on the kickball field, and on his soccer team, he was given special recognition. Kevin got a trophy that said he was Captain Courageous. That courage is something nine-year-olds recognize and adults admire. He's a, a very brave uh, young man. Paul Zimmerman is Kevin's guardian in the U.S. With the help of the South Hill Rotary Club, he brought Kevin over from Kenya. Shriners provided the reconstructive surgeries free of charge. He still has a scarred face but his face is much more functional than it was. He can shut his eyes and sleep with his eyes shut <clears throat> before they opened up. He's a good brother, he's kind. Kevin has lived with Bo Rojas and his family for the last seven months. They're preparing now to say goodbye. We're brothers. I mean, I love him, but I don't want him to go back to Kenya. Neither does his teacher. I'm going to miss him a lot. Who admits Kevin has done a lot of teaching this year as well. The kids were willing to accept it and he was willing to be accepted. Kevin will say goodbye to his classmates here at Liberty Elementary at the end of next week. He returns to Kenya on October 18th, but he'll likely return to Spokane every year or two for treatment. At Liberty Elementary, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.